Are you investing in your future? Let's go, y'all! What's up, y'all? This is Coach Nick. Today, we're gonna have a part two to the other video that we did about boxing footwork. The other one we worked on going forward and back, left and right. And today, we're gonna work on a little bit more advanced and putting it all together. So today, the footwork that we're gonna work on is not only forward and back, we're gonna put it together with the back and forth and also stepping around in a circle, working the angles, right? So last time, the last drill we did was the shadow drill. The shadow drill is supposed to give you a better feel for the distance. So we categorize the distance into three colors, red, yellow, and green. So if I put my hand out, from my fist to my face, that's the red zone. So that's where I can hit them or they can hit me. And then just outside of that, that's the yellow zone. Majority of the time I tell my fighters, you wanna be in the yellow zone. And then you step in from the yellow, inside the red, land your punches and get back to the yellow. And if you're gonna stay inside, you're gonna stay inside with your head movement or with your hands up. Right. And then the green, that's all the way outside. You really don't want to be in the green. Only time you're in the green, maybe you're a little winded, you want to take a little break. Um, you know, get in the green, use your jab and catch your breath and then get back to the yellow. So, yeah, we're gonna go over the, the drills with LL. So here we go. So this drill right here, we call the zigzag drill. Just kind of putting all the Movements together, forward, back, side to side. Um, just to recap on what we talked about the last time. Anytime you're going forward, you move the front foot first, and then you follow with the back foot. However far you move the front foot, that's how far you move the back foot. You wanna keep your spacing. And then when you're going left, you wanna move the left foot first, and then you move the right. If you're going to the right, you move the right foot first and then bring the left foot along. Um, again, like I said last time, when you're training young kids, technique is not gonna be perfect, but it's okay. Through repetition and over time, it's gonna get better and better. The muscle memory start kicking in. Um, don't worry too much about being too critical about the technique. I see coaches sometimes, they want the kids to be perfect and they spend a lot of time correcting them, critiquing them, criticizing. What I found is that if you do that a lot, what you do is you program the fighter to second guess themselves or to overanalyze themselves. And when they go in the ring to fight, you know, that translates into the ring or hesitating. You know, if you've ever been in a fight or competed in boxing, you know everything ha happens really fast. So the only time you have is to see it, then pull the trigger and react. Everything happens simultaneously. So again, all this programming the muscle memory to be automatic. And so this drill right here, forward and back, it puts it together. So this drill right here, we call it toe touches. Basically it's teaching the fighter to be light on their feet it builds the core, it builds the hips. And as they develop and get more advanced, they're able to do this drill faster and quicker with their feet. So this drill right here, we call it the circle pivot drill, where you throw your punches, and then instead of going backwards, you step around and then pivot. And we work on going both ways. So right here, LL's throwing the one, two, then he's stepping over and then pivoting. A lot of times I see trainers uh, teach, throw the punch and then just pivot. But what happens is if you just pivot without taking that step, you're still in front of the opponent and they can hit you. But if you take that little step over and pivot, you're gonna be on the side of them. So this drill right here is basically the same thing. We're just giving an LL a target and then getting him used to, as he steps over and gets the advantage, throwing that hook to the body and taking advantage of that opportunity. 
So I hope you learned something about the footwork and how important it is. Uh, if you like the channel, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more tutorials. Um, next tutorial will be on defense. After that will be offense. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Stay updated. Um, learn the proper way to learn the fundamentals of boxing. Until next time, much love and aloha.